Damn it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Zippy Industries. I am Chris, and today we are going to do something I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, I finally got the parts together, and we're going to put it on and see how it looks. Uh, so as some of you know, if you follow the channel, uh, you followed this build so far. We have a 39 millimeter Sportster front end on this uh, narrow glide, and one thing I've been wanting to do is run a 41 millimeter tapered leg. So here we got these. I got a pair of these. There are 41 millimeters. These are off a later shovel. Uh, the legs have already been shaved, and we're going to put them into a 39 millimeter tree. All right. So. How are we going to do that, you say? Well, I'm glad you asked. So, I picked up another set of trees. Come on. I need to clean off the table. Picked up another set of trees that has, this one had a steel lower, and I had these turned out. Uh, they've been machined. So as you can see, they've been machined inside there. These now are 41 millimeters on the bottom. All right, so I've seen where a few people online, uh, they machine both top and bottom, and then they run the forks up through the top, uh, and then just put, there's a company that makes um, this style of, of uh, I guess, slug, if you want to call it, the top nut that goes into the tube. Uh, there's a company that makes them for 41 millimeters to, to slide them up. The problem is you lose that, uh, you lose the thickness of your top tree because you have to slide these up. So, what I did was turn some stainless slugs. Alright, so here they are. These will fit in, they thread into the 41 millimeter tree just like the normal slug. Uh, they'll bottom out here, it takes the stock o-ring and then it has flats on it to tighten them down. Uh, this now will fit up through our 39 millimeter tree. This is a stock tree, this hasn't been modified. All right, um, and this will fit up through here. Oops, and tighten down. They are fairly snug. All right, I gotta put the camera down. All right, so this is the bottom. Slides up through there just like that, tighten it down, and now the top comes out like so. Alright, so put this side in. There we go. Alright, tighten it down, we're good to go. So now you have um, these ad essentially adapt the 41 millimeter legs to a stock 39 millimeter top tree. Alright, so they stick up a little bit on top, so it, it looks pretty nice. So, but that's where we're at. These are 304 stainless, so don't have to polish or you don't have to paint them or anything. You can polish them up, uh, make them look nice. So that's going to be kind of our plan here. So I have yet to put this together. Um, I do know that stuff slides. Just to show you that this is 41 millimeters and not 39. All right. So these have been machined out. That's a stock 39 top tree. So. Um, but first thing we got to do is we got to get the sporty, uh, the stock one off. I am going to reuse this top tree because this tree came with the other ones. It's top um, triple, but it's been machined or well, you want to call it machined. Somebody's hacked the shit out of it. And I don't know if this is powder coat or where it flakes off, but it's, it's really shitty. Which these ears and stuff, we're going to do that to this one anyway. So for now we will leave this one on here and then this will be the one that i actually modify um later on uh, well since it's already been hacked on then i can cut all this stuff off clean it up somebody already started um then that way this can all stay together and be good to go and then we can keep this for later when we take this all back apart so and then we'll have uh, a complete front end that we can use for some other build so uh first thing we gotta do is get the front end off uh, one thing I am hoping with running this style or the later front end is that our axle that we turned down for our star hub will work on this front end, but we'll see. So, may work, may not. Let's 
get to work. All right, so we got everything off. You go here. At some point, I am going to have to put the other ne uh, neck cups in there. Um, they do have an internal stop on them. I do have some. I just got to put them in. Um, I was going to paint the bike actually. The yeah. Um, before we did that, so we'll get there at some point. But we got a bearing on, so we'll get this all put back in here, and then uh, yeah, we'll come back. <laughs> All right, so we got our trees on. So I think what I'm gonna do is put the slugs into the top here and then tighten these pinch bolts down and then run my tubes up through here. That way I can put pressure on them and get them going there because getting those things back on there was, with the springs was a huge pain in the butt. So um, I think that's what my plan is now. So it works hopefully but I'm trying to not booger these up um i have two sets of them so hopefully we don't destroy one so i'd like to keep the other ones a spare or whatever if, or if we do this again you know have another set that way it's i don't have to wait and i don't have to pay for it again so let's uh let's see if we can't get these on here and then uh see how that goes So there we go, got our 41 millimeter legs and front end into our narrow glide 39 millimeter 40 trees. So not too bad. This one was kind of being a little bit of a butt. Didn't quite want to go in there, but uh, we got it in. So just had to take it out, put a wrench on it, uh, get the rest of the way in there. So um, overall, pretty happy with it. So these tubes are kind of beat up. So probably gonna have to find some new tubes just because these aren't exactly in the best condition um so we'll see but anyway so that's where we're at i'll compare let's see how they are in length i uh, honestly i haven't checked it yet so they are a bit shorter uh quite a bit shorter actually so we're going to get some longer tubes anyway, so that'll work out because those tubes are garbage, so. Um, but yeah, that'll work out. Now we got to see if our wheel fits. Our, uh, our axle does fit, so that's good. I don't have to make a new one yet. Uh, we'll see if this wheel fits between these. It's kind of narrow, so um, yeah. Let's see if we can't get it on there. Hopefully we don't need to do anything crazy. <laughs> Got our 41 millimeter tubes and lowers and taper and all the other bullshit on here. Uh, 39 millimeter narrow trees, so it's an air glide now. So, uh, do have to move the wheel over a little bit, so not a big deal. But, um, just because I don't think it was, uh, <clears throat> obviously in the other ones it wasn't centered either, so. Um, but we're still trying to decide if we're going to run a front brake or not. I do have this uh, hamburger wheel, which we're actually going to put up here, the hamburger hub. So that's actually what's going to go up here in the front. Um, actually, probably going to take this wheel apart. I have the hub, or I have the spokes for it. 
Um, bought this wheel a long time ago at the beginning of this project and uh, thought I was told it was true, but it's definitely not. Uh, it's definitely wobbly. So now I don't feel bad about taking it apart. So uh, we're gonna take it apart and uh, put our hamburger drum on here and see how that goes. Uh, I need to see if the hamburger drum even fits on here because quite honestly, I have not fit it. It's upstairs, so I might go grab that and stick it on and see how it looks. Time go. All right, so there we have it. Back on the ground, start our wheel on, got our tanks on, see how everything fits. Overall, I'm a lot happier with this. Um, and those length forks will work. So if we look underneath, it's pretty, pretty lovely. So front end is up just a hair, which is perfect. So stock length on these 41 millimeters are, will be just fine. So, um, yay. So we'll uh, we'll find some new tubes because, like I said, these things are roached, so they're they got some issues. But overall, it's starting to come together. Uh, Y'all haven't seen this yet, but we need to take a full inch out of the back of the tanks, uh, narrow those in. Now they are where I want them to be. Uh, a lot happier with those proportions. It actually has the look I, I was going for the whole time. So um, I got them about halfway welded up. So I got to finish. Finish all those and then I can get those on and then we can start doing body work and whatnot. Uh, bought another two, two throat. I'm sure some of you are like, why the fuck would you waste your money on that? Well, I think they're, they look pretty cool. Uh, but I found a complete one. So uh, that one's missing a lot of punts I found out. Uh, uh, there's like an accelerator pump and all the throttle and choke stuff is all missing. A lot of it. So it's pretty much a parts car for the most part. So I bought another one that's complete. Um, hopefully the guy will be sitting here soon and we can get that on there. And then that'll be good to go. Um, but getting pretty close on this thing for the most part. Still got, you know, a fair amount of things to finish up, but um, we are getting closer. So uh, this last few weeks has been a little crazy around here, so. Son graduated high school, so we had all the family in for that. And we got a finally got a fence in the backyard, so we had to clear a bunch of our land for that and all kinds of other crap. So it's been a bit chaotic. Um, as you all know, life, that's how life goes. So uh, finally, hopefully gonna get back on this thing this week and uh, get the tank swallowed up. And then really after we get the tank swallowed up, there's not a lot left. Um, then we can start tearing it apart and doing body work and finish well and everything like that so um yeah still gotta build them out for the exhaust i haven't done that yet either so and uh the um damn headlight so we gotta build them out for that so we'll get to it at some point uh hopefully or soon uh we got fourth of july weekend coming up so it should be off for a few days for that so um yeah so look look stay tuned for more updates hopefully we'll be uh Punching them out here soon, and uh, if anybody wants to buy this unfinished thing, let me know. I'll make you a deal on it. So hit me up. But that's gonna do it for this video. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching.